Do you guys approach women? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, they're like, no. Nope. <laughs> My eyebrow girl gave me the best line to use if a guy keeps staring at you but won't come up and say anything to you. I am in this predicament, so I was like, Yamitza, I need help. And she said that she would know what to do. She was like, next time he's near you, just say, I see you peeking but not speaking. And I was like, I love that because kind of calling them out for what they're doing and you're making the first move by talking to them first. It's funny. It's clever. It's a recipe for success. Might work. Why? Because most of the men out there, they are scared of approaching you because you've been saying men shouldn't approach us. Men are creeps. So if you make a move or you say that, maybe that might work because you'll be like, oh, okay, she doesn't think I'm a creep. Okay, let me talk to her. It might work for you. But as long as you don't do anything or you don't say anything, you don't signal that it's okay for you to be talked to. <laughs> the reason why you are not getting approached is because these men see you as a woman with high value. A lot of men just want to have fun. So they go and push themselves on a woman that they think don't have high value. This is the truth. Like, I'm trying to be kind, but that is the truth. Then you need to start taking initiative. Now, the feminists don't want me to tell you the secret, but here it is. Number one, you need to be more proactive with women. What I mean by this is you have to be the decision maker. As much as the modern world is telling her to be this empowered girl boss, at the end of the day, she wants to be able to relax in the presence of you. So here are some examples of what this looks like. When you go on dates, you're the one who organizes everything. You give her time and day, you tell her to look beautiful, and you handle everything else. Guys, so this is what happens when men have the initiative to initiate dates and take these women out. But these women now sometimes they react when they are taken to places they don't like. And also sometimes these women will bring a bunch of their friends and sometimes they will make orders that don't make sense. Sometimes they will order for their children if she's a baby mama at home. And now the men just say, you know what, we're not doing that anymore. And now they are coming out to say, guys, you should take the initiative. <laughs> no male, no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot. Last night I went out with a couple friends and we were sitting outside watching a concert and we were just talking about how men never approach women. And I get it, it's nerve wracking, it's uncomfortable, it could be like severe rejection, all of these things, but it's frustrating when it feels like women have to do all of the work. So there was a couple guys that were clearly looking at us and we decided to do a little experiment. So one of my friends, she went to the bathroom and on her way back, she decided to stand like 10 feet from them. She's not gonna approach them, but she's gonna stand 10 feet from them all alone. And you're talking outdoors, concert, and she is just, in fact, I forgot that she was doing this experiment and female creeps. When it comes to being a creep, it's really not a gender thing. It's really not a man thing. So the look on her face looked like she was lost. So I was like, hey, we're over here. But I was like, oh yeah, we're doing this experiment. So she definitely looked approachable, almost looked like she needed help. And then she was just casually enjoying the music, even looks back at them. All the while, my other friend and I are watching and these guys were like gawking at her, just nonstop staring at her. And she stands there for at least 10 minutes doing this dancing and within 10 feet. And not once, not once did they approach her. Not once did they even attempt to. And she walks then by them and around to come back to us and they are just gawking, staring at her as she walks back. So as we get up to leave for the night, we walk literally within two inches of them, right in front of them. And not once, not once has a thing. Mind you, when she came back from the bathroom, she did get approached by four men that were like 65, because I feel like that <laughs> the men at that age and genre, that they just know how to approach women. They just, they just know, like that's in their DNA. And somewhere along the lines, it's gotten lost. 
And we were sitting there observing, and there was only one girl that was really talking to a few men, and every single time she was approaching them. So what is it? Like, what, what do women need to do to be approachable? We thought, okay, we're sitting in a group of three, that can be intimidating. So she went out on her own, stood 10 feet, even did a little glance at them, was standing all alone, and still nothing. Like, what do women need to do to be approachable for a man to approach them when they're out? You should simply talk to the men. I mean, talk to them. If you tell men through these media platforms that you don't want them to approach you, they are creeps. The only way you can rectify the situation or you can make it work is you speak to them. Speak to them. When you see him, he's looking at you. And he's not saying anything. He's scared because you might scream harassment. He sees you keep on throwing words like harassment. You always harassed. So speak to him. Say something clever. And then you pick it up from there. You won't have a problem. And for a lady that will like your consent experience, you were there to consent, you knew what you were doing. If any of the men came up to you, you are gonna think he's a creep. It's loud there and then for him to talk to you, he has to lean closer to you. He has to try sort of scream, whisper into your ear, like he has to be whispering closer to you into your ear to say something because of the music. So you're gonna say he's a creep, you're gonna think he's a creep. Why are you closer to me? You know? Those things happen, you do that most of the times, and you actually make videos to embarrass those men. You've done it in the past, you're doing it now, so now do you think a normal person who thinks will fall for that? I actually think it's a trap, you're trying to capture me. You come closer to me where I'm seated, with your friends looking, and you act all lost. I'll think, oh, it's a bet, they're trying to get me on the camera. The next day I'll be trending, that that's a creep at the concert. So say something clever, go over there and say, oh, you know what, I noticed you are looking. I thought I'd say, hello, how are you guys doing? That's going to work for you perfectly. I can assure you on that. Do not go back to exes or people from your past. And this is dating advice from a woman in her 30s. <laughs>